Well, hey there. Hope you're having a great week. The weather outside the last couple days has just been, well, summer-like, right? That's been awesome. Speaking of summer-like, we were able to be outdoors on Sunday. Hopefully you were here uh, and be able to spend the time in God's creation like we did. God kept the weather away for us. It was just a magnificent time together. A huge crowd. Uh, just so good to be out there like that in God's creation. And, and as special as that time was together, I think the, the worship that we did together was awesome. And hearing you, you guys are singing the neighborhood, hearing that. I heard the drums could be heard on the other side of Johnson Lake as the team was practicing in the morning. Uh, all that was good. But what made it even extra special, I think, is we looked at a really special passage out of the Bible, out of Proverbs, as we've been looking at the past couple weeks. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It's probably a memory verse for so many of you. So many of you, maybe even your favorite or a life verse. I know it is from my wife, Jenny. Uh, but trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him. Acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Four real pieces to that proverb, or two verses together, making up kind of one proverb. And Rick took us through it really magnificently. It was uh, a great reminder from him. I've had numerous conversations with some of you uh, about things that, that stood out to them from, from this passage and from uh, the sermon from Sunday. But we talked a lot, he talked a lot about trust, right? What it means to truly put your trust in Christ. And right there in, in the passage, we see kind of the conundrum that really all of us have. Will we put our trust in, in God or will we put our trust in ourselves? If you'd bear with me a second, Rick used an illustration uh, of a cane. And here I have this walking stick. It's a one that somebody gave to me and he, he talked about the idea of leaning on a cane. That's what a cane is for, right? To put your weight on, to to rest upon, to keep your balance. And, and Rick talked about in life, we should lean not on our own understanding, lean not on the way we see life, lean not on the way we understand or, or lean not on our own decision making, but instead lean on the Lord. That's what it means to, or that's one of the ways that we can trust him, that we don't try to solve the puzzle on our own. He gives us intuition. He gives us wisdom. He gives us so much but our reliance needs to be on him, not our own understanding. I thought that was a great illustration with the cane uh, on Sunday. And then the, the other part of that passage, in all your ways, submit to him. Rick talked about the idea of what it means to fully surrender your life to Christ. What things so often come in our way or what things prevent us from submitting our life to Christ. I wonder for you, what are the, the things, what were the things, perhaps, if, you've, if you have surrendered your life to Christ, which I, I sincerely hope is the case for you, but if something has been a holdup for you, there's, there's been a stronghold in your life or, or something that you just can't let go, I, I wonder what that might be for you. What is something that you need to let go of, something that you need to surrender to God and fully commit yourself to him. He will give you the strength. He will give you what you need. He will give you what you think you're holding on to, potentially. And so uh, just another great passage together uh, in the book of Proverbs. We're going to continue that this week. We're going to talk about a subject that some people don't always like to talk about in church, maybe not in general, but we are going to do that this week because it's such an important uh, subject. I'll kind of leave that, leave you hanging on that. Uh, the other thing just to touch base about is 
this place, I'm in one of the back rooms at church right now, but this place is being transformed as we get ready for Vacation Bible School here next week. Uh, Amanda and our team of volunteers have done a great job. Uh, we've got a lot of kids coming. Last I heard, 70 plus uh, children uh, are coming to uh, Vacation Bible School. It's going to be an awesome week. Please be praying for that. Please join us in the excitement factor that it brings. And, and we just pray that seeds will be planted in our young people and potentially even in their extended families and that the kingdom grows as a result of what happens next week here at Vacation Bible School. So be praying for that. We'll hopefully see you Sunday. Enjoy this fantastic summer week of weather. Until then, see ya.